Hello friends, welcome back to Lanetigate Tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Kubernetes dashboard for your Kubernetes cluster so that you will be able to manage your cluster using web UI dashboard through which you can perform tasks like you can deploy your applications, you can scale it, you can modify it and even you can delete your applications, parts, services and you can manage any Kubernetes resources as you do using the command kubectl. I have my Kubernetes cluster running on AWS cloud that is EKS with two worker nodes on which I am going to show you the demo by installing the dashboard as well as I will show you by deploying and modifying some applications. Currently I have no space other than the default things. After we deploy the dashboard, it will create a dedicated namespace and other required resources for it. This is an another video from our Kubernetes tutorial series. Related document of this video and other links are mentioned in the description below. Refer those links to understand this session much better from basics. If you still didn't subscribe to our channel, do subscribe now and click near the bell icon to get the notifications immediately. Let's get started. Just go to google.com and search for Kubernetes dashboard and this is the link we need web UI dashboard click on it this will take you to the Kubernetes official website here you will have all the information about Kubernetes dashboard you can just go through that and this is the command will help us to deploy the dashboard installing dashboard is a straightforward procedure Kubernetes itself they have the recommended files on github And this is the file that will create all the resources that is required for the dashboard like namespace, services, deployments, service account and role based accounts etc. So straight away you can clone this repo and you can modify it if anything you want to change or just install the YAML file directly using the kubectl command. So I am going to deploy the dashboard directly and will change the service type from cluster IP to load balancer since I want my dashboard to be available all the time. And I will tell you why do I change the service type in few minutes. So namespace, service account, cluster role, deployment, all the records resources are created now. Let's check the namespace, kubectl get ns. Yes, we have got a new namespace for Kubernetes dashboard. Let's see the pods running on this namespace kubectl hyphen n kubernetes hyphen dashboard get pods hyphen o wide so two pods are running within this namespace dashboard metrics that is for the metrics collector and the kubernetes dashboard is the actual pod so both are running on two different nodes let's see how do we access the dashboard um, for that we need to check the service type by default the service type will be cluster ip so it cannot be accessed from outside the cluster. So we need to expose the service. For temporarily, you can use kubectl proxy command when you want to access the Kubernetes dashboard only when you need it. And also, if you don't want to expose the dashboard service outside the cluster, this command will expose your dashboard service for the time being until this command is running. But this dashboard can be accessed only from the node where you have run the kubectl proxy command. But I want my Kubernetes dashboard available from outside the cluster. So we must expose the service using load balancer or node port type. So let me edit my service kubectl hyphen n Kubernetes dashboard get SVC. Yes, the default type is cluster IP. Then kubectl hyphen n Kubernetes dashboard edit svc kubernetes dashboard here you need to find the type and change this cluster ip to load balancer so that's it i have changed my kubernetes dashboard service type to load balancer so that dashboard can be accessed from outside the cluster again check the service type to make sure the service type changed to load balancer yes it is changed and also we have got the external ip from elb since my cluster is running on AWS and this is the ELB address through which we can access our dashboard. It will take a couple of minutes for the DNS change. Once the ELB is resolved in DNS, you will be able to see your dashboard from the browser like this. 
So in two ways, we can log into this dashboard uh, using cube config file or uh, join token. I'm going to use a join token method. For that, we need to create cluster admin service account. So kubectl create service account dashboard hyphen n default. So this will create the service account name dashboard within the namespace default. Then create cluster role binding. The command is kubectl create cluster role binding. The name is dashboard admin within the namespace hyphen n default and the cluster role equal to cluster admin and hyphen hyphen service account equal to default dashboard. This will add the cluster binding rules to a dashboard account that was created in default namespace. That's it. So the accounts are created. Now we need to get the joining token. So this is the command. This will help you to get the joining token. So this is a secret token from this output. We just copy tiddly your login prompt and paste it in the dashboard and click on sign in. You will be signed into the Kubernetes dashboard. And this is your dashboard home page. At the left side, you will have all the options of resources to explore. At the right side, you will have those resources in details. Um, here you have pods, deployments, jobs. Nothing is there because my default namespace is selected. Within that, I don't have any resources. Here you can select your namespace and you can manage the resources. So let me select Kubernetes dashboard and go to deployment. See, we have two deployment. One is for metrics and other one is for dashboard. If I go to jobs, nothing is there. Let's go to pods. Yes, we have two pods again, one for uh, metrics and the other one for dashboard. Go to nodes. Yeah, two nodes I have. And uh, let me go to overview of this namespace. So it will give you everything about the particular namespace I have selected. So everything is green, no failures on deployments, pods and replica sets. So if you want to make any changes of these resources, here you will have a settings about the resources through which you can manage your resources. You can scale it, you can edit, you can delete whatever you want. Since it is a deployment, I see options like scale, edit and delete. Let me edit this. See, I get the entire YAML file to edit. Here you can make any changes as you do from the CLI using kubectl command. If you want to change replicas from one to two, yes, you can make the changes and just click on update it. Even it tells you what is the equivalent command for these changes, it will execute it. So I'm not changing anything for this now, but I will show you how to deploy application in few minutes. On that, I will show you how to make these changes. If you select all namespace, it will give you overview of everything or you can select particular namespace to manage it. Fine. Let's see how to deploy applications. At the top right corner, you have a plus symbol to create new resources. Just click on it. You can create any resources using these options. If you have YAML file, then you just copy and paste the content over here. And this is create from input. Or you can upload your entire YAML file from your local machine directly using this option create from file. The third option is quite interesting. You don't need any YAML file. You can just enter the details you want in this form. Here you will have all the options that are required for the resources like app name, container image, number of parts, services. If you want to create, you can create it on which name space you want to create. So you will have all the options. Once you are done, just click on deploy. That's it. Let me deploy my demo application that is there on my GitHub account github dot slash lanity guide here i have a repository for a two-tier application that is kubernetes knote here i have two yaml file knote yaml file for frontend application and mongo dot yaml file for database let me open these two files first we'll create database so go to mongo dot yaml copy the content and go to kubernetes dashboard and paste the content over here in create from input option and just click on upload but before that let me choose the namespace default so that it will create these resources within the namespace click on upload once it is done it will take you to the overview of it um still pod is not ready so it will take a few minutes to turn into green yeah it is up now Pod is running as expected. Let's go and create the actual frontend application Knote. Go to knote.yaml, copy the code, go back to dashboard, click on create new resource again and paste here. Let me change the service type to load balancer so that I will get a ELB address that can be used to access my application. Click on upload now. Wait for some time. Knote deployment is in progress. 
it is also created now so let's find the load balance ip from services to access the application so this is the address it has got dns name resolution may take some time let me confirm it using ns lookup command yes it is resolved now so we can access our application that's it this is my demo application through kubernetes dashboard we have deployed this application let's see how to do the modifications so if you want to do any modifications like scaling the application then go back to dashboard and find the respective deployment here click on scale it will prompt you to enter the desired replicas let me change this to 2 and click on scale now check the parts it has got two part for knote itself and if you want to change the replicas back to 1 again go to deployment and click on scale and reduce the number or you can edit the entire deployment and change the replicas the second pod will be terminated now so similarly you can do any changes and you can manage any resources using this dashboard so that's it about kubernetes dashboard hope you have got an idea how to create kubernetes dashboard to manage your entire kubernetes environment using the web ui dashboard we'll see you soon in the next video till then keep practicing and have fun how did you feel is it helpful Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.